And welcome, uh, everybody, to the RP Show. What a day, what a day. What a difference an hour makes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were going to flight an hour ago for CFL Free Agency Day, and believe me, we're staying on that vein. But bloodshed, if you will, across Canada in Canadian sports media circles. Uh, Hamilton, Winnipeg, and Vancouver, all their TSN radio stations wiped off the map today. From what we understand, all their people let go, and that's what everybody's writing in about today. And I apologize. I'm going to have to, I'm going to try to get to as many of your comments as we can. A lot of our friends affected here. James Henderson in Morden, Manitoba says, I'm glad I found the RP show because now the 1290 is gone. I'm going to be lost. Nelson Hackowich, I was always an advocate for a local station in Regina to go full-time sports. Sort of glad they didn't. He's saying they would have been wiped out today if that was the case. A lot of Winnipeg viewers here. Conrad again. Come on, Rod. You were doing it for two hours. 1290 tried to do it for 24 hours, especially when CJOB does it better than TSN. What do you mean? What are we arguing for? I- I'm on their side, believe me. What are you saying? Like, and the comments coming in. Where is this to, to do from Ivan on YouTube? CFL should go digital and screw the networks. Well, they're going to have to. I, 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 don't, I don't understand what Conrad's mad about. Do you? No. You're going to have to explain yourself, Conrad. Uh, literally, it was like a SWAT team rolled in and cleared the building. Like the tactical attack that was planned, but nobody knew inside. Like, we're hearing stories of being on the air at 11.57 Eastern. Some guys were, yeah. Going to break at the top of the air, saying, we'll be right back. And the dial gets pulled from one station to the other, and you're not on the air. And you go to a commercial break to fill your cup of coffee, and they, you're surrounded. The, the, the Twitter feeds are already disabled for the stations. <clears throat> oh, it was a, it was a uh, sweep, sweep the ledge. Sweep. Move here. So, and you know what, by the way, if I can, and that's why people love this show, it's why they love McAfee, it's why they love Spit and Chicklets, because we speak the truth. Bell's supposed to be a broadcast partner of the Canadian Football League. So at the exact same time free agency opened, they whacked three of their radio stations in CFL markets. Bravo, Bell. Because guess what everybody's talking about right now? Not CFL free agency. Well, any, everybody in our circle, what are the comments that are coming in, Darren? They went from who's going where in the CFL to this. Like, and, right? Yeah. Like the CFL, in terms of things that are on our minds now, has moved to the bottom of the pile. And it'd be really tough to, to, to resurface again because it's just not a priority anymore. Like right as, right as free agency happens. From Caesar. Your show, RP and Dupes, will be the flagship of how these will go forward. Radio is dying. From Craig Campbell from the Hockey Hall of Fame, Marshall Ferguson from TSN Hamilton covered Canadian football like no other Toronto area media person. There's no doubt. It was in his heart, right? What happens to these guys? Jamie in Halifax says, sad to see Jeff Patterson go from TSN Vancouver Radio. He's been an amazing guest. So forgive me if I may. Uh, forgive me, please, because this is this is big news. And have I misread that? Belk, you couldn't have waited until tomorrow? Like, do you really care about the Canadian Football League? Like, one more kick in the junk to the CFL from yeah. their broadcast partner. Right, supposed to be an ally. Oh, we didn't. We don't think about those things. This is all business. Well, maybe you should start thinking about these things. Maybe you wouldn't be in this position. That would Sorry. be a better business. <laughs> maybe you should think of outside your friggin' office window in downtown Toronto. That might be a start. But did, but did nobody bring it up? Like nobody around the boardroom table? Because I know when we look at business, it's a one-man band. I get it. Right? There's not a big boardroom here making decisions together, right? It's you and it's me. And that's it. I do the stuff of the day and tell you what we're doing. And you show up and tell me what we're talking about. Like, it's one and done. But you'd think somebody around the table would say, is this the right day? What else is going on this day? Oh, you should. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they don't. No. I've been in those meetings, by the way. And then I stopped getting invited into those meetings because Rod... 
You bring up things we don't want to talk about. Rod, you bring up things we want to sweep under the desk. You're not invited to our meetings anymore. Wayne in Victoria. Wow, talk about breaking news. This is crazy and sad. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.